many people suffer from pain and physical problems. Very few people know that these problems are often related to trigger points. Understanding and treating trigger points helps to lessen pain and improve overall health. This video is a short explanation and introduction to the trigger point. A trigger point is a small muscle contraction which can be felt as a small nodule. Pushing on this nodule is very painful. Trigger points can exist in each muscle of the body. Multiple can exist at the same time. Often both sides of the body are affected equally. The trigger point keeps the muscle tight and weak, restricting the muscle's range of motion. A trigger point can actively cause pain, or it can cause no pain unless touched. Mostly this pain is sent to a different area of the body. This is called referred pain. Referred pain can make finding and treating trigger points difficult. Luckily, referred pain follows typical patterns that have been well documented. Let's take a closer look at the trigger point. A trigger point lies in a taut band. A taut band is a tight strand of muscle that feels like a cord, easily mistaken for a tendon. The trigger point itself can be felt with the fingertips when its location is superficial. The size varies from a pinhead to a pea. When we continue to zoom in, we can see the muscle fibers that make up the muscle. The lines on the muscle fibers represent sarcomeres. Millions of sarcomeres acting like tiny pumps have to contract to create movement. Sarcomeres can become overstimulated and unable to release their contracted state. This knot of contracted sarcomeres shows a segment of the fiber that has become shorter and wider because of this. But also a different segment now becomes stretched by this tension, shown by the greater distance between the sarcomeres. Together multiple of these sarcomere knots form the trigger point. The stretched segments of the fibers give tightness to the taut band in which the trigger point lies. When sarcomeres are stuck in contraction, blood flow stops in the immediate area. The resulting oxygen starvation and accumulation of waste products irritate the trigger point. The trigger point responds by sending out pain signals. In return, your brain will stimulate you to stop using the muscle, which further shortens and tightens up the muscle. Trigger points will not release without proper treatment. The most effective way to treat a trigger point is applying deep stroking massage directly to the trigger point. This can be done without the help of others. Deep stroking massage means performing a series of deep strokes across the trigger point nodule. In this example, a rubber bouncing ball is placed between the body and the wall to reach the trigger point in the lower trapezius on the back side of the body. You can see the ball moving slowly and deeply in short strokes from one side of the trigger point to the other. Series typically consist of about 8 to 12 strokes and are performed about 5 to 10 times a day. By using deep stroking massage you are milking the trigger point so to speak. Blood and lymph fluid is moved out containing waste generated by the contracted muscle fibers. Each time you move over the trigger point and release the pressure, fresh blood immediately flows in bringing fresh oxygen and nutrients. It may take several weeks to return the muscle fibers to the normal state and fully release the trigger point. Trigger points which have existed for a long time will take a lot of treatment, but often results can be achieved in days, meaning less pain and improved mobility. You can find references to more in-depth information about trigger points and their treatment in the video description below.